Manny in the morning with Swift Current Bronco head coach Manny Viveros. Uh, Manny, an exciting, fun Saturday night at the Iplex. Uh, I know that was a few days ago now, but uh, what did the coaching staff make of that one? No, you know, we were pretty pleased, uh, obviously, with the, the win on Saturday evening. Uh, we thought our kids played really well. Uh, we had really solid goaltending. Uh, Spokane came out. It put a lot of shots on our net, and uh, and uh, Childer was a real solid net for us. But we were uh, pretty static the way we, you know, stuck with our game plan, and uh, you know, very happy we got two points. You know, Travis Child is, uh, has been impressive as of late. Does he get the start tonight? Yeah, he's going to go in tonight. Uh, he's deserved uh, uh, to play again this evening here. And uh, like I said before, uh, we're going to use a tandem as, as far as our goaltenders are concerned. And uh, but we're going to go back with uh, Childer tonight. Right on. Uh, you know, it seems as though the injury bug has crept its way into your locker room. Uh, Glenn Godden and Connor Chalk, both on the WHL Weekly Report, is missing a little bit of time here. Uh, what can you tell us about those two? Well, unfortunately, uh, they're both going to, you know, uh, miss a significant time from our club. Uh, at this moment, we can't say exactly how long it's going to be, but it's going to be prepared to uh, be an extended time away from our hockey club here. So, uh, and also, also bad news: uh, Riley Stotts uh, was hurt with uh, Team Canada under 17s, and uh, he's also we expect him to miss a, a considerable amount of time with our hockey club, also too. So, um, it's very unfortunate. Uh, uh, you know, wish these kids all the best and a speedy recovery. Um, you know, it's going to be, you know, a, a bit of time, but they're going to be healthy again, and we're going to have them back at some time throughout the year. But a uh, great opportunity for uh, other kids in our room uh, to step up. Uh, everybody wants to play, and uh, they're going to play. And we've got a lot of opportunity, and uh, they're going to get a lot of ice time. And uh, we were fortunate enough uh, to get uh, Logan Barlaghi to come with our hockey club uh, this evening, play with us tonight for one evening under emergency recall. And then we'll send him back uh, to his uh, team in uh, uh, Prince Albert, Midget AAA. But uh, we're very happy to have him uh, to help our, our club this evening. And we'll also bring in uh, Josh Baker uh, for the upcoming weekend against Calgary. You know, talk about Logan Barlaghi. Uh, you know, he's a big physical player, uh, you know, much talked about being a first round banner pick. How much action do you expect him to see tonight? Well, I'm going to play him. Um, Certainly gonna, he's here and we're, we're going to play him. So uh, Logan's a special player, uh, he's a real good player, but don't forget he's still 15 years old. So, uh, But we're going to play him uh, in, uh, on tonight as much as that we possibly can. So um, we didn't bring him here just to sit on the bench. So we're going to play him and see him go. And we're confident enough that he's ready to play. And uh, he's a special young kid and uh, we're very happy to have him tonight. What do we know about the, uh, the opposition in Edmonton Oil Kings? Well, you know, there's a team that, uh, on on the record, uh, as far as their uh, uh, in the standings right now, they're you know a little bit lower in the standings, though, but they're a very good hockey team. Uh, we've watched uh, a lot of game film from them, and uh, they're a very good hockey team. There's not a there's not a team a weak team in this in this league. So uh, we've got to be very good against these guys tonight. Uh, we expect them to come in here and play a very sound defensive uh, and structured game. So we're gonna have to be the best of, uh, at our best like every night, and uh, we expect a really good fast-paced hockey. Thanks for this, Manny. Thanks, Ryan.